Hi guys, Richard at Orange Campers here and this video is just a short video on the advantages of a lithium upgrade. So um, Phil and his family have got this, uh, they've had this Trevay for a while now, they're loving it, they're enjoying it, but they want the ability to be fully off grid when they need to be or want to be. And um, you can achieve that by a, a, via a lithium upgrade package we offer. Now, uh, traditionally on this van, unlike most vans, uh, it's typical to find a 100 amp, even if you haven't got one of our vans, it's quite typical to find a 100 amp leisure battery or 105 amp leisure battery or even a pair of leisure batteries. Now, but the problem with lead acid batteries is, although it might be a 100 amp battery, you cannot use uh, 100 amps. Unlike lithium, you can virtually use what it says is on the tin. But lead acid will only let you use, it will never fully charge back to 100% and it will never deplete to zero. So you've got a very uh, limited window within that battery life. So you you imagine you've got 100 amps to play with and um, you know you can divide that 100 amps by whatever uh, equipment you're using. The fridge is the biggest draw. That can sometimes pull four or five amps on a hot day, you know, so an hour. So once you divide all your items, by uh, divide it by 100 and that'll give you your run time of all your appliances or how long your batteries are going to last which is not that long when you consider you've got to divide it by you know when you work it out 24 hours in a day you know you could be pulling in a, in a hot condition you could be pulling 20 amps an hour um, which you know you, you won't run very long you know uh, and that's why you need hookup but lithium gives you a much greater use of battery power the, this upgrade we've gone to a 280 amp lithium battery and um all that power is usable. It really is accessible, that 280 amps. So, and plus the battery is much lighter as well than a traditional, to, to achieve that sort of ampage, you'd need three big lead acid batteries what weigh a, 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 a ton, you know. Whereas lithium is much lighter and it's very compact. We've replaced one 280 amp lithium battery where in our traditional trevays, uh, we have two lead acid batteries. So we've physically taken up less space than we would with lead acid. So I'll show you how it works. It's in, you don't see much, it's all self-contained. It works itself out, turns itself off. Incredible bit of kit. And um, what you get with a lithium package is, we use all Victron controllers. So you go into your Victron Connect app, and what it does is, when you're in your vehicle, it brings up all your devices it can see. So as you can see there, we've got a battery protect at the top. Uh, we've got a, a battery to battery DC charger from the engine. The smart shunt's a main one because what happens is the smart shunt works out all your power, tells you what your runtime is, and it shows you exactly how much power you're drawing at any one time. The solar is underneath at the bottom there, and that's a great uh, device. This has got a 200 amp, uh, a 200 watt, sorry, uh, solar panel on. And then it'll show you how much power that's putting in on a sunny day. So let's, the main one really is to worry about is your smart shunt, because that gives you all the uh, calculated information together. So once you click on it, it tells you your, your state of battery charge straight away. Let's get rid of that message. So it tells you straight away, uh, our lithium battery is set at 70%. Now the good thing about lithium batteries is, unlike lead acid, you can never really tell what your lead acid battery state is set at because you can't measure it very easily. It's very hard to measure a lead acid battery on a, on a uh, camper van. Um, vehicle batteries are different, but camper van batteries are very hard to get an accurate percentage of what your battery is charged. But the lithium has its own BMS in there and it tells you exactly what percentage that vehicle, uh, what that leisure battery is charged at. So we can marry that, we can input those settings into a smart shunt and then that tells us exactly what state of charge we're at. So we know we're at 70% charge. Uh, Mepasa, you can see it gives you consumed uh, amp hours, you know, minus 85 and stuff. Now at the top, it tells you a voltage, 13.7 volts. Lithium does sit much higher than lead acid batteries. So it's quite natural to sit at 13 volts and it will sit there virtually all the way down to while it's depleting. Whereas lead acid can quite happily drop down to 11 volts and then appliances will start failing when it gets too low. Whereas lithium, the good thing about it, it stays at a high usable uh, uh, voltage all the way to through depletion. 
So uh, it says here, look, current is the next one. We're not pulling any current off at the minute. And then you uh, what to power that converts into amps. And then you've got watts, how many watts we're pulling off at any one time. And then um, time remaining is a very useful one. Now let me turn the fridge on and then we'll look at this again because we need to give it a decent amount of draw and it'll show us what we're pulling. Because the lights are so low wattage, um, it doesn't affect it. But you can see, I've turned my fridge on straight away. And you can see straight away there, look, we're pulling 3.2 amps um, using 42 watts. So when it's got a minus next to it, that's meaning that's what you're drawing from that leisure battery. So it's saying we're pulling 3.2 amps at 42 watts. And uh, it gives you a run time, uh, time estimating and it, it's, it's sort of finding its feet there. Two days, it's saying, at that current rate. But that's not factoring in any sunlight because the sun will obviously put back in and you can check your solar amp, uh, your, your solar charger, and that'll tell us how many amps on a nice sunny day, especially with a roof angled at the sun, that'll really put some ampage back in there. And um, while you're driving as well, we've got the DC to DC charger. And while you're driving, We've, we put a nice big 30 amp charger on these, so while you're driving it can be really putting in a lot of power. So if you're doing a big distance run for a couple of hours, you know, your batteries can be back up to 90, 100% quite easily. Um, so you can see it's a very useful app. You've got lots of uh, information, you've got history, trends, if you like your graphs and things. Um, and um, there's lots of information in there um, to keep you uh, occupied and if you like uh, if you like your charts and your readings it's a, it's a great bit of kit but it's just a quick video just to emphasize it's lighter it takes up less space but it, it literally it has tripled their um, battery life and their off-grid time and that's what it's all about and uh, it just makes everything that much more enjoyable now because you don't need to worry about how long the fridge is going to run you don't need to worry about um, you know running out of power so just a quick video, I hope you like the video. And if you want any information on upgrade to lithium, whether you've got one of our trevays or if it's a, a different manufacturer, we're happy to uh, chat and give you some advice. Just uh, give us a call, send us an email or come and see us.